looking back, it was, uh, you know, there was a, some, some really tough times there. And, and um, you know, I think it certainly, um, you know, rattled me and my confidence a bit coming in. You know, um, no no sort of first year player should have to cop that. I think I think it was sort of you know the position that the club was in. I think we we're six million dollars yep. worth of debt, and you know we're losing every game. And um, you know, so it was sort of like we need something, mm. and let's sort of plonk it on this kid. He's mm. a Melbourne kid. He's a number one draft pick. It's you know, and so then it's almost like from that point on, it was. Um, it was just hard to win people over, even at the club or like when I say that, almost like every anything I did really well was like expected. Like yeah. that's what you're meant to do. Cause if, if I played my best game of footy as a you know, eighteen year old mm. and I've you know, like it's like that's the standard, that's what you should do every week. And mm. then, you know, when you're sort of not quite living up, it's like you're meant to be this gun mm. and you're meant to blah blah blah. So that that was sort of the the hardest thing for me i found was just mm. like and i'm a uh, you know me i'm a big softy I'm, i like to keep you know people please uh, i want to yep. yep. i want everyone to like me and and um and so to have that sort of just hanging over me for a lot of my career i felt um oh. and that was all you know a big reason to leave melbourne it was sort of like mm. maybe i'll just go, I'll go to port and i'm there for pick 35 or whatever and so then you know there's no real pressure yeah uh, which was which I really enjoyed. 